The NCP won 54 seats in the assembly elections of Maharashtra held in October. Although it was nowhere close to nailing a government, it saw an opportunity when Shiv Sena parted with the BJP and reached out to the NCP for an alliance. This sparked off hectic negotiations between NCP, Shiv Sena and Congress to stitch up an alliance in the state. The alliance seemed to have taken a solid shape by Friday evening and then Sharad Pawar's nephew Ajit Pawar upset the apple cart. He was pictured taking oath as the Deputy Chief Minister early Saturday morning with Devendra Fadnavis taking oath as the Chief Minister. What has happened is one for the history books, but now it all boils down to whether Ajit Pawar has the numbers to ensure a comfortable floor test win for the BJP alliance. This is what we know so far. Ajit Pawar claims the support of 35 MLAs as per sources quoted by TV reports. If this is a fact, then the BJP and Ajit Pawar-led faction can comfortably pass the halfway mark of the 288-member Maharashtra Assembly as the BJP claims it has the support from some independent MLAs as well. If in fact 35 MLAs have split from the mother party, then even the anti-defection rule does not come into force as 35 out of 54 MLAs is roughly two-thirds of the elected NCP MLAs. However, NCP Supremo Sharad Pawar claims this is false. At a joint press briefing with Shiv Sena, he said that only about 10 to 11 MLAs accompanied Ajit Pawar and that the MLAs were even unaware where they were being taken. Some accompanying MLAs returned when they saw that they were taken to the governor's house for the oath-taking procedures. This would leave Ajit Pawar with just a handful of MLAs and not the figures required to form a government. The NCP Supremo has also threatened action against Ajit Pawar for anti-party activities. It remains to be seen who votes in favour of whom in the floor test to prove the numbers of the new government.